Okay, so dear guys, today we're gonna talk about uh, custom ground materials. This is what you are, you are going to have at the end of this tutorial. A custom ground is an apron and its properties. We have applied an LIDL pavement surface and it's a, a custom material like this. The real deal uh, with custom material is uh, how the, the composite texture is painted. Um, it's kind of easy, but could be tricky, so we're gonna see how to do that. Okay, so I have here on screen uh, the documentation from uh, the MFSS SDK documentation about our uh, normal roughness metal composite texture. And this specific uh, description is about materials composite materials is not about the composite texture used for 3d object to create the composite texture for the materials for our custom materials you're gonna need the metalness map the normal map and the roughness map i have already downloaded uh, from texture.com uh, the texture uh, and the normal map is this one, and this one is the roughness map. So they'll be doing the ambient occlusion. So we're gonna open this in GIMP and um, open with GIMP, and also the other one open with GIMP. The goal is to create a texture with four layers red, green, blue, and alpha. So if you have already followed my tutorial uh, to obtain this, you have pick a new texture and uh, 134 by 134 uh, will be RGB, 16 bit, and okay. In this texture, we have three channels now red, green, and blue, and we need to add the DAF channel. So go to layer transparency and add the alpha channel. So we have four channels now. Now we can go to colors, components, and decompose. Our goal is to obtain an RGBA, so we have four layers, red, green, blue, and alpha. We can discard this, so we don't need this anymore. And this will be our target, our target texture. Okay, so in our target texture, by the SDK, in the red channel, we need to put the metal texture. Uh, this is a pavement, so we don't have any metal and uh, we can skip this and go ahead with the uh, uh, green channel and this one is the x normal so we need to decompose the normal too and this is this one and we go to color components and decompose it will be rgb so in the red channel this is the x channel and this is the x for of course so we're gonna copy this all over to the green channel and anchor okay and now this is in the green channel in the blue channel we need the roughness map so we can copy the roughness map this one in the blue channel And anchor that in the alpha channel and this is pretty tricky we need the, the, the z from the normal map and uh, what i found out that is that the z of the normal map that you have downloaded from texture.com uh, it's this one okay is not the blue channel but it's the green channel. I don't know if the documentation is wrong or the texture from text.com are wrong or the sim does something in it, but this is the one you're looking for. So the green channel of your normal map. I'm gonna copy it in the alpha channel of our composite texture. So we have red, it will be metallic, green, uh, which is the X normal, blue, which is the roughness, and alpha, which is 
the um, it's called the zeta normal hope this makes sense to you and now we're gonna do our color components and compose looking for our RGBA result so metallic in the red X normal in the green roughness in the blue and Z normal oil green shadow from the normal map in the alpha and this is what you are gonna expect uh, from a texture which has no metallic it's bluish and it's have some alpha in it you know the checker pattern is alpha so we can save this texture this will be a PNG and X for that okay okay and we are done now we're going in the we're gonna go in the scene and create our material lover so we are back into the simulator and uh, first of all we need to add the asset group for our materials so clicking on the blue line we can go to the inspector add asset group custom next will be a material lib and i'm gonna call that lidl material library and create so this operation will create a new uh, folder inside the, our um, project folder and we have lidl material lib which is the new one inside this uh, folder we need to create a texture folder so new folder called texture and inside the texture folder we can gonna copy the png we have before so we need the albedo and we need the composite so in the lidl material lib texture we're gonna copy over the albedo and the composite we have created in game okay so now to create uh, the new material we can select the material library select our package which is the lidl material lib and press select and now we can click on file new this is the new material his name will be LIDL Pavement Pavements. Surface type will be bricks. And uh, in this slot, we're gonna put the albedo texture. So we're gonna select it and select the albedo, click open, and in the other slot, the normal roughness metal. And it is the normal roughness method and is here and I'm gonna press save. Okay, so now in our uh, material library we have a new material. And it's a new material. So now I'm gonna add a, a new apron. So objects, apron, fold, add, and control click, control click, control click, control click and enter to confirm and i'm gonna assign our new material to the apron so as you can see we can of course like all texture in the aprons set the tiling so a nice tiling could be maybe 10 meters or maybe 8 meters of course the rotation of the texture we can rotate it in the right way it would be nice and we can of course change where our texture is mapped with the textures offset okay as you can see it's pretty nice texture and now we can save our scenery so i have also um, made in gimp uh, a texture with the z value from the with the blue channel of the normal map so i'm gonna create a new material which is lidl pavement lidl pavement wrong albedo is the same okay as you can see this is the, the wrong one if you try to use this you can save pavement wrong if you try to assign this to the pavement you can see that the color is awful okay and can go always to the other uh, 
time of the day to see that is working correctly. The shadow is the shadowing is nice. And if we change the weather to something rainy, you can see that we have puddles. Okay, so we are done. Now let's go back to some clear skies. And um, so you know, materials are also handy if you need to place uh, custom markings on your aprons. For example, if you need a special parking for uh, pregnant women, uh, we could do that by adding a new material. Ideal parking prego. Uh, surface for custom markings uh, is gonna be paint and for the texture I have created a little custom texture and we can save the new material and add uh, um, an apron I would use a square apron in this case Okay, like this, and uh, the prego material. So uh, we need to rotate our material. Okay, uh, let's make the priority higher. Uh, let's flip the UVs. Okay, the rotation is nice. And we can position the texture what we want in the frame and now we have our nice parking for oh my lordness for women I think this is a bag <laughs> 141 Yeah, this is indeed the back. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Of course, you can use a custom marking for making the runway signs uh, and uh, so on. And uh, if you don't have already, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel for more SDK video. Bye bye.